Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to respectfully decline LZT because that, that's one like the calm like I don't have to talk to nobody day. I mean, obviously besides her, but like I can just chill. You just really have to passively listen to me though most of the time. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> did I take the poison out of this? I don't remember. Twitch is effing up your sound. You know a couple people have been losing frames today, but I haven't lost anything, so I don't. Lolcat, I always go the full nine yards. I'm I'm incapable of doing something half acidly. I will always take it to the next ridiculous level uh, if I can, if I possibly can. Oh yeah. A little more contrasting. Yeah. You feel pretty. Not yet, but I will. Sure. You want me to put gum in my mouth and pretend to be a salon person? I'd rather you didn't, honestly. Honey, BB Sansa, how was last night? I don't mind role playing, but I'd rather not RP with someone that I hate. <laughs> was Nocturne bad for you? That character I hated. No, because the character you played wasn't um, vacuous and stupid. On Nocturne. Yeah. That gum smacking fucking salon person was was indeed. I actually completely forgot you hated gum until I like got on screen and I was smacking it and I was like <laughs> that noise it just oh, drives me insane. Hates when I smack gum. This is gonna fuck it up. <laughs> um okay. I just put moisturizer on his face. Santa had a rough night. Is it weird that I'm making you Santa and you're gonna play Santa? Like, like Santa gets to open gifts, I guess? <laughs> well, I mean, he deserves it. A rough night. As much or more than anyone. What's Santa's favorite sexual position? Reindeer style. What's that? Um, you basically uh, enslave the other person and make them work for you all day and then oh. just fuck them while they're too tired. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Resist, sure. I guess. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Just coming up with that off the top of my head. No, that totally makes sense. Sure. Is this our first Christmas together? Yes, it is. But Zeke isn't a huge Christmas fan. No, that's fan. A, it's a popular misnomer that the elves are not there of their own volition. Like, they got to work, like, maybe, I don't know, one week a year. Because for those of you that think the elves work year round, no, 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 that is not true because there's a naughty and nice list and it's compiled up until the end of Christmas Eve. Um, so, like, the only people that are guaranteed toys are, like, the ones that have built up so much uh, nice that there's no possible way they could ever end up on the naughty. Ooh, so the elves right? only work one week a year. Yeah, sure, it's crunch. Yeah, it's, it's like 23 hours a day and one hour of sleep, but that's only one week a year. The rest of the week is, or the rest of the year is just like leisure time or cleaning up the, the shop. Do elves fuck? Yeah. So they like breed other baby elves? Yeah. Are they tiny? They're elves. Well, the babies, I mean, are they like little babies or is it like huge baby that just doesn't grow. Do I need, I don't, I felt like I didn't need to explain this to you how birth works. Like how babies I've never delivered an elves elf. Are, elves are humanoid. I mean, they're not like, they don't lay eggs or anything like the Jewish people. Um, <laughs> I stole that joke. Stole that joke outright from uh, Borat. Merry Christmas. I love that you have lipstick on your teeth. Do I get it? No, I'm leaving it there. You're like my aunt who smokes and drinks too much. You know a trick? You could do this. I've, yeah, I've seen that trick. I rushed and put some on before we went live. I apologize for Smile the blood on my teeth. Smile at him. I think I got it. Yeah, you might have got it. Uh -huh. 
not, they're not gonna see it. Elf eggs are a Christmas delicacy. Sick. Elves don't need safety because they can't be hurt. I'm just checking. I'm honestly just checking to see if it's framey or not. Us? The the camera. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot what I was grabbing. Um. Something to make me beautiful. You're Santa. Oh, something to make me look old, I guess. Favorite Xmas movie? <coughs> huh. Fucking thing just turned light. All the time. Just flicker. Yep. Yep, there, there it, it is again. again. I did that recently. That's what you get for getting the uh, knockoffs. Um, do you mean a Christmas movie that has Christmas like Don't as die. no as a central theme? Close your eyes. Because yeah. Die Hard is a Christmas movie in that it takes place during Christmas. So it technically counts. But if you're talking about a Christmas movie with a Christmas theme, uh, I mean, Home Alone is hard to beat. I love Home Alone. Or Macaulay Culkin. Thank you for the follows. Welcome to my channel. My name's Class Katie. It's fucktabulous to meet you. I've never seen White Christmas, I don't think. Is that a new movie or is that an old movie? Sounds like an old movie. Who asked? Oh my god, of course it's VA Gamer Girl. Wait, is it? She talks about it all the time. It's her favorite. It's the, the really old fashioned one I was watching the other oh, day. Oh yeah, sure, sure. With uh, the two guys I can never name, but you know their names. Uh, what else have they been in? Give me a hand. No, they're like old fucking dancers from the ancient era. Oh, like Fred Astaire? Fred Astaire like and. Rogers and uh, Fred Astaire and did I just knock my makeup palette over? No, no. I did. Ugh. I have to hide a lot of things from our dogs. Bing Crosby and Danny Kate, thank you. Oh, the critter. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. I'm Bing Crosby. Merry Christmas. Hey yo. Wanna feel old? So is Zeke. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Macaulay Culkin tweeted out this year that he turned 40. And he said, wanna feel old? I'm 40. And I went, I'm 42, bruh. You know who else is? Christina Ricci. Still a fucking banger. Did you make my camera really dark for a reason? It's just so the contrast of like. It makes my, like, my cheeks look wrinkly and I hate it. Okay. Please well, fix it. Thank you. Fixing it now. There you go. Now you look like a lit up angel. See, the thing is, honey, I'm wearing like theater makeup, so you need that. And I'm going to do this to you, so you will need this. Right. That light is uh, possessed. Yes. It is. Okay. All right. Sorry, right, I came in and started messing with cool i hate your lighting oh, your office go. too it makes me look old there we go i've canceled everything i've done i need to face you babe okay owie okay. Yeah. no no you can face oh. them oh, i okay. just wanted to face you yeah you're good all right hail satan hail satan I get an open presents after I made up. Is that right? Um, I mean, it's up to you. You can do either or. Um, the makeup's not going to take too long because we're not doing anything I, I crazy. choose now then. I no. want my presents now. No. Okay, then you choose. Okay. What's your choice? Not right now. Is it going to be after I made up? <laughs> I'm never going to give you a time because I know you want one. Okay, I'm happy. Merry Christmas. I don't need that in my life. Can you close I don't. Your eyes? Yes, I can. Stop smiling. I, I, I'm trying. Mm. 
Hail Satan, motherfucker. Don't you want to be beautiful to open your gifts for Santa? From Santa. Oh, you're making me like hobo Santa. I, yeah, I am. Oh, I guess beautiful wouldn't be the right word to use. Well, the art is beautiful. That's about. I had so many people tweet at me with the poster for Fat Man and go, Is this music? That's awfully nice of them. God damn it. Where can I meet a Katie? The internet. Listen. We stay there, it's safer. Um we'll get them ice cream. Yeah. Open your eyes, yeah. Uh I'll be honest with you, I don't know. It took me a long goddamn time. I spent twelve long years not having a significant other before Katie, so depressing news for you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it'll, I mean, it might happen sooner than mine did. You can never give up hope, Sager. There's too many humans in the world to give up hope. Oh, yeah, dude. No, I'm 40. Like, I met her when I was 39. So, yeah. Hope springs eternal for sure. Hey! Oh, I thought he was touching Millie. Jesus Christ, honey. It's important. Oh, we touched them. How are you touching my dog? I punched his dick. Oh. No, we're, see, look, started. he still loves me. See, look, he still loves me. Punch his dick all the time, and he's like, he's grown to cuss him to it. I gotta, I gotta figure out something else to do to punish him. Started liking it. His dick comes out too much now. And when Zeke needs to find someone else at 42, it should be fine. Hey, at 42, he'll be the answer to the universe. He doesn't need anybody else. I should worry. No, whenever Katie wises up and leaves me like that, I'm done. I'm cashing in my chips. It's funny. I'm just, penis I'm, is far too pretty. I'm just drugs and prostitutes from that point on. <laughs> what if I became your drug and your prostitute? Saying if you left me, honey. That's never gonna happen, though. But I might turn into a. Oh my God! When I die, will you plant me? Oh. Yes, but how? Like, also, you're. I'm dying far before you are. You put a you put a weed seed in my ashes. To oh. Water it. Uh, well, does the ashes have enough like soil nutrients in there to? A weed in? I think I gotta probably put it in the ground. It's a dead body. A little bit. You know, it'd be easier and probably better. Just my corpse. Just your corpse. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If I just threw weed seeds in your corpse and buried oh. you in a shallow grave. Oh my god! I'll just swallow a bunch and then you kill me, and by that I mean make them unplug me, and then you could bury me. Somewhere. Yeah, I can't be in a box or too far below the surface of the earth. So you get the sunshine. Exactly. Gotta make sure to water your corpse as well. Exactly. You know what? Maybe I'll put you up like, you know that scary stories guy? The scarecrow? Oh, I hate I'll it. I'll put you up no. like that. Oh, oh no. What's his name again? No! I can't remember. Henry Frank? Ooh, no, I don't remember. I just read that story again recently. I hate it. This is Sparta! Who the fuck are you? Oh. Hey, JC. Thank you for five months in a row, honeybean. Being single is awesome, and if ever in doubt, uh, hear what my friends put up with from their uh, significant other, and I'm cured. Hey, I was perfectly fine being single before I met Katie. Like, it wasn't like I was super lonely, or, I mean, there were lonely times, but well, I wasn't, like, in a deep depression or anything. It was nice being single, but this is better. 
What would you say is the biggest differences aside from like being alone and going out and stuff? Biggest differences from then from single from to now? From being single to being in a living with this. Um, just about everything I do, I have to consider what you, how it'll affect you, which is not something I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to considering other people's, uh, lives when I do shit in my own house. Mm -hmm. You can keep your eyes open. Oh my god, my ear just itched. Ah! Oh god, it's, it's like there's a tiny hair in my ear. Ah! Okay. I mean, I thought, I, I, I assumed you were talking about, like... Stuff that wasn't obvious, you know, like the regular sex, the companionship, the, yeah, night, yeah, yeah. the night cuddles. I was, yeah. Stuff like that. Like, like that's stuff obvious. Stuff that doesn't have to do with me. Yeah. I mean, surprisingly little. Like, I still, you know, crap with the door open. Like, I don't hold in, like, well, I do a little, a very little bit. I do hold in some farts, but. Only when they smell horrific. When I know they're going to come out bad, I, I do try and be considerate and go to the bathroom. But I'll let a squeaker out every once in a while. That'll he'll peel, do peel it. The paint. And literally, I, he'll just look at me and wait. <laughs> and I'll go, oh, my God. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. You could warn me so I could hide. <laughs> and he's on the side with the fan, so the fan just blows it on me. Like, I just get the whole hot thing in my mouth. It's fucking disgusting. Okay, do you see what Scott said in all caps? Do you know the story behind that? What? Behind what? What behind... Scott said in all, in all caps. Isn't that like one of his kids said it to the mom? Yep. To their mom? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you did hear the story. Yeah. Yeah. After after letting allowing his kids to watch my stream, one of his other kids heard his mom fart and said, go fart in the bathroom, you cunt. Be, unknowingly, not trying to be, trying to be funny. Not trying to be offensive. But, yeah. Oh, it's the worst. Hilarious. I accidentally got one of my friend's kids to say damn it or shit or something, and I was just like, I said it once, but children are sponges, man. Yeah, man. <coughs> once is all it takes. I just want to make sure to go off this. I think this sweater might win a war. It's pretty epic. I kind of wish I had it. What about you? Hmm. Same question. I forgot it. Well, I can see that it's not the same answer that I give, you know, being considerate of other people. But what's the biggest change you've had to go through? I mean, you weren't that, you weren't single that long, though. You have five million socks that look the same and aren't the same, and I hate it. That's you the biggest throw, change You don't laundry. have to, like, match them. You can just throw I them. have to for my head. You can just throw them in the... Babe, you know me. I'll find the matches. I did that to, I did that this morning. I just have... I have black foot socks of varying thicknesses, but of the same logo. The only way to tell them apart is there's there's cream, beige, and gray. The fucking uh, Adidas... A microscopic Adidas, Adidas, Adidas logo on the ankle. Yeah. And but I, I can I I have I've had them for a while so I can feel the thickness of them and go okay these ones match. But honestly I don't even like those socks I want to throw them away I like my Under Armour thick socks. But those are the ones I wear like when those ones go away or, or in the wash. You just throw them away and get new socks. Like I thought he had too many and I cleaned behind the dryer and found fifty more. And all I can think of is you just didn't do laundry for a year and you just kept buying socks. No. It's insane. That's so many. It just made laundry very complicated and weird. Other than that, I don't, I have pretty much live exactly the same. Like, I'm like a cat. I just kind of mold and find my corner. And... In my previous relationship, my, uh, we didn't have a washer and dryer in our house, so we had Oof. to go to the laundromat. Mm -hmm. So we folded our own clothes. Um, getting used to, like, what, the huge differences between your tops and your bottoms, like the, the clothes you wear. Like, there's like, you know, tank tops and it's lacy, strappy, you know, t shirts, not t shirts, you know, that kind of shit. Like, getting used to that stuff. Like, I don't know how to fold this. 
You taught me how to fold t-shirts, though. Oh my god, Zeke has the most magical t-shirt folding trick. It's like grab a shoulder, grab a nipple, boom, it's folded perfect with the logo on the front. Miracles. I learned that from a YouTube video of a Asian department store worker. It's fantastic. That changed my life for sure. Timber socks are identical in every way except for three variations on the band that only differ by about a quarter of an inch. Yep, that's the that's the struggle. That is exactly it. Who said that? That culture pork, yes. And only he can tell the difference. Because they all look black to me. But I get it. Like I wouldn't want to wear two socks that felt different either. I just wouldn't do something insane like that. I buy socks that look so different from each other that it's impossible to mix them up. But well, I'm weird. Well, roll them up, it. no wrinkles. I get that, Bach, but we, like... Do you mind we if don't... I pluck a hair? No, it's fine. We don't do... Uh, put our clothes in drawers for the most part. We put them on shelves so we can see all of them. Yeah. So if you if you rolled them up, it'd be a little bit difficult to see what the shirt actually was if it was, like, a black shirt, like, mini black shirts. That's the best part of this folding method. It literally is the quickest thing I've ever done, and it puts the logo top and center. So if you stack them, we have them like in a closet, but our closet has shelves. You can see every fucking shirt and know what everything is right yeah. there. You and know what you have. It's rolling amazing. them up, but also they, they might roll off the shelves. I've done the rolling technique. And I, do that when I, I do that when I pack for like, oh, pack a suitcase. Pack, yeah. Wait, are this guys married? No. No, we will never get married. Unless it's like right before I die or she dies. Yeah, and barring catastrophes. And we know it's coming. Then we'll get married so die, no one can dispute who gets what. Thank you for the resub. Suddenly so Thank you. We did something worse. We committed each other like through love and words and stuff. Emotional things. Yeah. The only logical reason for marriage is, is legal stuff mm -hmm. so she can pull my plug if necessary but we can apply for common law and be fine I think. I think so too I think common law gives me rights so no one will keep you alive forever yeah. Ugh. not that I would unplug does anyone know about common law is common law easily like enacted and then dissolved is it easier than like traditional marriage I don't know I think you just move out right I don't think there's anything involved with common law. I think you marry. Uh, you are already common law married. Hey, Scott, I actually looked this up, and you do have to apply to get common law. Like, you can do it from day one if you live together, but you have to actually apply. Yeah, I looked it up. You can do it, like, after one day of living together. It doesn't matter. Like, the time length doesn't matter, like I thought it did. It's just go down apply for a common law or like whatever online if you can and then you're then you're good to go jack i used to do that um ask for socks for my mom but she always buys me girl socks and my feet are too big so i would get all these socks that wouldn't go over my ankle and it was really sad uh, hey scott you might uh, like this was just a precursory uh google, google google search so i just looked at the front page and read like the paragraph they had there i could be uh, there could be more more to it, more ins and outs that I don't know. We just casually were in the kitchen talking about it, so we Googled yeah. it. Hold on. Just so she doesn't post again, because I know she will. Hmm? Just make sure to read what the gamer girl said. Because she will repost. I know. Uh, my friend's daughter was little, and she was walking to her mom and fell down in a sitting position. And as she fell, she said, shit, her mom and I looked she at each other and bit our tongues. Back. So we would not laugh, but it was so funny because she said it at the perfect time. I would have laughed. Oh, <gasps> Culture Bork, how dare you gift a sub in my chat? Steve-O, you are a butt wizard of the highest order, and I challenge you to go forth and be consensual in everything you do. You still haven't achieved your goal, Jack? The fuck? You're probably like me with no friends. Like, how do you ask for socks from everybody when there's nobody, you know? Oh, Colorado's recognized common law marriage as legal and binding since 1877. A common law marriage established when parties mutually consent to be husband and wife. Right, but how do they know it's common law then? And how do they know it's mutually accepted? Exactly. I need to go to the other side of you. 
Like, don't you, that doesn't that like imply that you have to apply? Trick! Uh-uh. But I'm saying, then what's the point of common law marriage then? Like, does it, does it, is it just a word and gives you absolutely no rights? Yeah, what does it even mean? So I'm saying, Scott, if I go into a coma, she can just say, oh, we're common law marriage. Mar marriage. And then married. fucking unplug you? And then unplug me? Like, someone has to fucking witness it, like a notary, right? Brad Zeke, she is hot. I know, dude. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry if I if I support them. Oh. Celtic Wolf's dog. <laughs> Oh shit. What just happened? Holy dick fucks! <laughs> Damn, dude. What in the fucking. Merry Christmas, thank you. Nice. Whoa. Nice. 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 Pretty generous there, Tundra Beaver. Yeah, Tundra Beaver. Damn, dude. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, man. You nuts. Oh my god, that eyebrow hair is so long. I get long ones. I get like Whoa. I get like I get like Scorsese pluck pluck it and show them. I get like Scorsese level shit sometimes. Like not all of them, but no. like every once in a while. My dudes. Damn. Damn. Every once in a while, I get a few of them that just grow. Damn! Because it's like none of them are like they that. They don't follow like the terminus of no of my normal eyebrow hairs. They just rogue <laughs> rogue hairs that just grow on their own. Did we get an answer if we're common law or not? Scott's probably uh, reading. Parties to a common law marriage are entitled to all rights, privileges, and responsibilities of a legal and binding marriage. Yeah, but how would they know? That's like, my... how would they know we did it? Yeah. Like, if one of us couldn't answer, that's what I'm saying, like the coma thing. Could one of us just say it, and the other one's like, <laughs> you just say, this is my wife. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a goddamn minute here. So if I'm just walking down the street and just grab a stranger and be like, this is my wife. <laughs> They'd Sir, be, please get your like, hands off my perspirations. They'd be like, yep, checks out. It's law. <coughs> All right, since we're doing this. Turn on the second camera. Oh, yeah. She said yes. <gasps> what? Uh, good luck with yeah, that. Yeah, I know, right? Go ahead. Um, I'm supporting elsewhere. So it does require verbal agreement on both parties, then. On both parties. That's all I want to know. Oh, and if I was in a coma and she, like, this is my husband, it wouldn't count. That sucks. I mean, I understand. You it. can do things like she could change her name or you could both own a property. Make it more established, but you don't need shit. You just say, this is my wife, and she says, yep. Wow, what's the <laughs> point of getting married, then? What other things does it afford you? Like, is there any is there any downside to doing that? Like, if we did that right now, would there be any downside? 